Yes, want to just say a, a mighty shalom to everybody. Just kind of come to do another little video right quick. Another little video right quick. You know, um, one of you, and it's all fair use, right? Just for educational purposes. This is fair use of any video that I do use. We just want to come in and, and, and hit scriptures with some of the things that's going around the earth for it seems that the people have a problem with us. But I would ask you, who came to help us? Right. Where where were the armies or the weapons being brought to help us? Right. Because we came over here, you know, in, in slavery and we're still here. Who helped us? Right. It would be nobody. And the Bible tells us about this. Right. And we got Jake. Right. Saying that, you know, you know, he's helping everybody. And, you know, basically we should vote. But I would say, nay, we shouldn't vote. We should vote for Christ. Right. How do we vote for Christ? By believing in him, right, and keeping the laws and commandments of God. Hey, vote for his ways and not our own. So let's just. Let me stop it. Forgive me. I know what I'm going to be doing come November, but my fucking God, just sit with your cognitive dissonance. Don't try to shove it onto the rest of us. All right. Palestine has nothing to do with it, because if you cared about Palestinians, you would not be sitting here saying that you're going to vote blue no matter who. No, you'd be putting these politicians feet to the flames. You'd be demanding more. You wouldn't be saying, oh, I'm going to vote. And then maybe I'm going to try to organize. You will have never organized a day in your fucking life. Just zip it. All right. Zip it. Us Palestinians sick of hearing your shit. Now, those of y'all who usually follow me know it is at this point where I will usually have that person's account information up here and hitting them with, uh, is this you? But this is not going to be one of those videos because I intend no hate towards that young lady. I just want to address some of the things she said and remind her of the world of reality we live in. Those of y'all who follow me, know succinctly my stance on Gaza and the 75 years of history associated with the conflict in that area. For those of you all who don't, allow me. Excuse me, excuse me right quick. I mean to bother you, but I need some help. Can somebody tell me why the same people who are in my comment section whenever I say that Israel is engaged in ethnic cleansing in Palestine, tell me I need to go study some 2,000-year-old quasi-mythical history from some Bible in order to... So he said quasi-mystical. We kind of want to break them words down because he's saying the bible is quasi mystical so let's try to see what these words mean so we can break them down you know and and, and let him know what's going on because i don't think he really has an idea of of what's going on so um let's present something else first of all let's go with quasi quasi mystical the young man said, right? Some quasi-mystical book. So it says quasi, seemingly, apparently, but not really. So he's saying the Bible is seemingly, apparently, but not real. It's not really. The Bible is not real. So let's switch this. And now let's see what mystical mean, right? Because he, he's saying some things, but the Bible, all these things that's popping off right now is in the Bible. It was written years ago before it happened, King. You know, I mean, this is why it, it, this is why it puts your 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 theory as the Bible is being a, a, a probably mystical and not really to bed because we can know the prophecies that's popping off even right now. Right. Because a lot of people don't understand what's going on. 
But the people that came back to the laws of God, the people that keep the laws and commandments of God understand, because he said they're going to always be wrapped up in prophecy. Right? A lot of these people out here are not wrapped up in prophecy. They, hey, they think they can do it under their own strength. They think we can vote a change in the office. This cannot happen. Look what the Bible is saying, relating a mystical religion or mysticism, right? So he's the, the what it what it's saying is probably it says other words supernatural strong matches right so so it's saying spiritual religious but not really as far as what what mystical mean is 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 it's basically fake right the bible is fake so well, let me just you know let's go back to hear what he says so he's saying the bible why should he look at a bible that is quasi mystical right some book some bible but what he failed to realize that his ancestors wrote that body by the spirit of most high the most high sent this sent 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 these prophecies it by his spirit through the prophets to write to let us know what's going on right but he doesn't understand that he has no idea what's going on right So let's see what let's the standard. But they're also the same people that tell me when I bring up the documented history of the transatlantic slave trade, slavery in America and Jim Crow less than 400 years ago. They tell me I need to get over it. Yeah. Can somebody make this make sense in the comment section for me? Thank you. <laughs> see what he don't realize is that that was prophesied way before it happened. Right. So this is that from that quasi mystical book called the Bible that he's talking about the 400 years. Right. It was already prophesied way back. in Abraham, you know, by Abraham, right to, to Abraham anyway. Right. So this is some before and after video for you before. And, and the fingernail polish and the red beard and the dangling earrings. Right. This is the feminine stuff. Right, he got to come out of it, but he's been again. My one of my favorite saying, he's been carried away or being carried away in the flood. But the most high can do anything, he can save this man's life, he can get the truth, repent, come back to the laws and commandments of God and the faith in the Messiah and get the kingdom that's coming. That's written about, right? Says so it's not quasi mystical. If things was written thousands of years ago, it's coming true now. Because you know, he's gonna say some things, right, about you know. He just said some things. Why ain't nobody come to help us? Right? What what happened to us? Right? So, but hey, the Bible says no one's gonna help us. Listen what the Before scripture. Israel dropped What's six thousand bombs into the Gaza Strip in one week and afterwards. Six thousand bombs in a week are more than the number of bombs that were dropped by Americans coalition forces in their fight against ISIS in Syria and Iraq in a month my stance on israel's actions in the largest open air prison on the planet are well documented on my social media pages but not only that this is from my camera roll because it is what i was doing before 2020 my stance on Palestine and how far I have gone in the past in accordance with that stance because I was talking about it and attending rallies long before 2023 and understand I was attending rallies and standing in support of Palestine when I was clearly in violation of my parole in various states and places. So understand, this is not going to be the input of a performative activist at all. I know you mean well, but don't ever presume to talk to those of us who have suffered under the yoke of oppression in this country for over 400 years and still
now for over 400 years and 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 this prophecy ties into everything that's even going on in palestine right now so let me go ahead and pull that scripture for you to just to just to you know what i mean edify the brother on this quasi mystical book that he's talking about right <laughs> he says some things but if he understood or even picked it up like someone told him to told him to pick up maybe he would see the prophecies that's that's flowing if the most high wants to reveal it to him right so right here we gonna go to genesis 15. look what the bible is saying and he said unto abraham know for surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in the land that is not theirs and shall serve them and they shall afflict them for 100 years it's the same thing he was talking about for 400 years for under 40 over 400 years this is what the bible is saying and also that nation to whom they shall serve will i judge and after that after the judgment not at the end of 400 years but after the 400 years right it says and after and afterward shall they come out with great substance so what's promised to us if we decide to come back to the laws commandments of god and the faith of messiah that we're coming out of this captivity the last captivity for the children of israel with great substance right but he would the main point is that 400 years that he was talking about this is came in that quasi mystical book back in abraham's time right but he want to call it quasi that's why we can trust the book that's why it's not quasi maybe but not really not this is really happening and what's happening to them is the end of this prophecy let me go to acts chapter 7 right verse 6 let me pull that right quick for you right it says the same thing he's just repeating and it says acts chapter 7 verse 6 and god spoke on this wise that his seed should sojourn in a strange land and they shall bring them into bondage and treat them evil 400 years this is not talking about egypt right because we first got to egypt we got the best land and caution and we wasn't in egypt for 400 years right it says in the nation to whom they shall be in bondage will i judge says the most high and after that so they come forth and serve me in this place this place is israel and what is happening right now the most high is clearing out that land for it's also prophesied that other people will be in that land until the time of the gentiles be fulfilled so this is what we this is what we want to understand about the bible the bible is real and we can trust the bible this quasi book that he talked about let's see if i can pull that up. let's see if i can pull that so the scripture is saying luke chapter 21 right so it's talking about that land that he wants to fight for and he has nothing we have nothing to do with that over there right let me go back the bible is saying and they shall fall by the edge of the sword and they shall be led away captive into all nation what nation of people have been led away captive to all nation via sub-Saharan slave trade, which the Arabs had their hand in, the same people that's crying for our help, right? And also, you know what I'm saying, the transatlantic slave trade, right? And Jerusalem should be thrown down by the Gentiles. And all those Gentiles in the land right now, those people in the land are not the original people. Now, do we have a couple of our people over there? Of course, right? Because they went over there back in the day and some was still there in Palestine where they, even oppress do you see me right it says in jerusalem should be trodden down by the gentiles until the time of the gentiles be fulfilled and them times are wrapping up as we speak because it's written in what that quasi mystical book right years ago so this is what when when we get to thinking that we're too wise the bible talks about that right when we start to think that we're too smart 
we're smarter than anything going right the bible is saying let me um let me pull that for you right because he he's going off he he thinks he's a smart man right he think it's by his wisdom he, he knows something but he, he really knows nothing the bible is saying for the wisdom of the world is foolishness with god for it is written he taketh the wise in his own craftiness Right. So the Bible says his wisdom is foolishness. Right. He's talking about the Bible as this is fake and it's mystical, but it's real. We can see these prophecies unfolding right as we speak. Right. And he just said, you know, where where is where is our help? Right. Where is our help? The Bible didn't say we weren't going to even get any help. Right. It's just not going to happen. Right. All right. It's just not going to happen. Let me get Psalms chapter 107. Look what the scripture is saying. It says, such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death being bound in affliction and iron because they rebelled against the words of God and contempt the counsel of the most high. And right now, the counsel of the Most High is his Bible. The Bible says that the, the book should be our governor, right? The book, his the Most High should govern our whole entire life. Sirach chapter 23 and verse 1. Look what the Bible saying. Oh, Yahweh, father and governor of my whole life, leave me not to their counsel and let me not fall by them. And right now, we're falling by them, right, through voting. Right. To, to fighting for some people that hate us. Right. We, we want to fight and, and, and pick up everybody's fight. You know, he's I've been fighting for Palestine, but Palestine, the Arabs have something to do with the murder of, 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 of some of your ancestors before that. They did us. They did us horrible. They said they used to cut off, you know, what I'm saying make a lot of make make a lot of men, you know, what I'm saying cut off. They, you know, what I'm saying so they can't mess with their women. Right. They said they said they took the babies out the out the out the out the women. Right. That when they was walking, bringing us into slavery and just hit the baby's head against the tree. This is all these things that they did. Right. They were we were enslaved to them as well. Right. And the Bible talks about that as well. This quasi mystical Bible. Right. It talks about that as well. Way before it happened. Listen what the Bible is saying it says then they cried unto yahweh in their trouble and i saved them out of their distresses and right now we're crying the but it was prophesied that when all these things come upon you the blessing and the curse and you should call him to mind and remember the covenant and come back to that then he's going to deliver us oh that man would praise yahweh for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men right for he hath broken the gates of brass and cut the bars. I think I skipped. Wait a minute. I don't even want that. Right. Contempt of the counsel of the Most High. Therefore, he brought down their heart with labor. They fell down and there was none to help. So there's nobody to help us. When we came in slavery, right, when we got kidnapped, there was no nation that came to our defense. There's still no nations coming to our defense. Right. We have no help. But y'all screaming like, hey, we can do something. But we are still captive in America. Right. We're still living in the hoods and the ghettos. Right. Even though they, they say the black woman is the most educated person. We are the below the poverty line more than any other nation of people. Listen what the Bible is saying. It says, then they cried unto Yahweh in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and break the bands asunder. asunder. So this is what's, this is definitely what's going on now. Look what the scripture is saying. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 14. And it reads, all thy lovers have forgotten thee. They seek thee not, for I have wounded thee with the with the wound of an enemy and the chastisement of the cruel one for the multitude of thy iniquities. So the Bible is saying 
we went in captivity because we we sinned and none of our lovers right who we was trying to follow after did not care listen what the scripture is saying why criest thou in thy affliction thy sorrows are incurable for the multitude of thy iniquity because the sins were increased i have done these things unto thee right so so the bible says he said before it happened he already had stated to happen hey there was not going to be no one to help so even though you cry for palestine where were they at when you know what i'm saying do where are their black lives matter shirts at right do you see what i mean when do they help us right they will they don't help us they can care less because they were confederate to making us forget who we are right now we wearing orange beards and dangling earrings and 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 this is definitely a fem a fem effeminate activity we shouldn't be dressing like that king right you don't know who you are so you've been carried away or being carried away in the flood thinking you want to fight for everybody and i i, I need to vote because this is just the only hope that we have right so let's just see let's just see what the scripture said let's go back over here i think i want to close this because i don't even like i was i was performing but um let's go here let's share something else let's go back somehow managed to be at the forefront of every protest involving injustices committed across the world. You can elect to sit out, but that sounds like a privileged point because the ultimate strategy is to understand the system we operate in and while we work to dismantle it, we have to learn how to use the levers of power available to us to engage in that very dismantlement so he believed by voting that we can make something happen for us but it's not that the only way that we can change our status or or come up out of the, the 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 struggle that we have is coming back to the laws and commandments of god and the bible also warns us about these things as well right Let's see what the scripture is saying. So we shouldn't, we shouldn't be voting. Look what the Bible says. Praise ye Yahweh. It says, praise ye the Lord, O my soul. While I live, I will praise you, Yahweh. I will sing praises unto my God. Now, this is It says three, right? Put not thy trust in princes, nor the son of man in whom there is no hope. So by voting, there is no hope for us. Do you see what I mean? He want to put his, put his, put his, put his, put his trust in, in, in Kamala, right? Whatever they, or, or, or in Obama or in, 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 in Trump or in anybody, right? There is no help in that. We got to put our trust in the most high. We got to come back to the laws and commandments of God. Because the Bible says these people hate our guts, right? Let me hear you. Let me get you another one, right? Deuteronomy chapter 17, verse 15. Look, the Bible is saying we should not vote, right? Unless he's a practicing Israelite. And there, there is no practicing Israelite that's really in the truth. Is going to be running for president because he know that this kingdom is at the end so we should not be voting the bible is saying it says thou shalt at any wise set him king over thee whom the lord thy god shall choose one from among thy brethren right it's not talking about a woman it said from thy brethren listen to what the bible is saying thou shalt set king over thee Thou shalt not set a stranger over thee, which is not. This is crazy. Let me just read it out a whole nother book, man. Forgive me, you guys. (laughs) 
It says, Thou shalt not at any wise set them king over thee, whom the Lord thy God shall choose. One from among thy brethren shall thy set king over thee. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not of thy brother. So we cannot set anybody over us, right? That's not from Israel. So we shouldn't be voting according to the scripture. Look what lamentation. Stop this here. Right, we shouldn't set nobody else over us. Let me get lamentation for you. I want you guys to understand we got to come back and trust in the most high in these last days. The Bible is saying, it says, as for us, I, our eyes have yet failed for our vain help. And in our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. You know, he's saying that we got to use whatever leverage we have to, to, to get something passed for us. Hey, but it's in vain, brother. This whole kingdom is set up against you. By who? The most high. This is a punishment for us. This is not our rest, right? So we're not going to, there, there's no illusion of inclusion, right? At the same time, we have served out our punishment and the most high is judging the earth. Look what the Bible said. I'm going to start again. As for us, our eyes have fell for our vain help. And in watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. Lamentation 4 and 18. They hunt our steps right, that we cannot go on our streets. Our end is near, our days are fulfilled, for our end has come. And we just read that in, um, in, in Genesis, and we also just read that in Acts, right? At the end of the 400 years, he is beginning to judge the earth. And what is happening in Palestine? He is judging the earth. Why would Palestine? They, they're, they're not the they're not the Edomites. They had nothing to do with it. But what does the Bible says? Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 2. Listen what the Bible says. So these people <laughs> are Ishmaelites, right? They're the Arab, so they're Ishmaelites. So listen what the Bible said. They saying they didn't have nothing to do, but they had something to do with our with our fall too. So I want you guys to understand, don't, don't, don't be mistaken. They had something to do with it. Look what the Bible says, Psalms 83 and 3. The Bible says they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in their remembrance. Hey, you're African-American. Hey, you, 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 you're not Israel. You're not Yasha. Hey, you're Mexican. Hey, you're Puerto Rican. You're Cuban. You're Asian. Hey, we don't remember ourselves no more. Hey, I'm an American and I'm fighting for the Palestinians. Do you see what I mean? Hey, we don't know ourselves. They did exactly what the Most High said from this quasi-mystical Bible that he's talking about, right? Hey, this said, hey, the Bible said we're going to forget ourselves. You don't even know who you are, King. Listen what the Bible is saying, right? They have taken crafty, they have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Yasha Allah shall be no more in remembrance. They are, they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Listen what the Bible was saying. The chief of them, the tabernacles of Edom, Esau, the Caucasian, the white man is Edom. And the Ishmaelite, <laughs> who the Arabs, right? Listen what the Bible, they're confederate. They had something to do with cutting us off, right? By getting in our land and claiming like they've been there all this time. Right by 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 even going to Egypt and claiming that they're, we're not Egyptian, but be, uh, th we are the original people here. Well, shoot, then Moses must have looked like him. See, Jesus was a Middle Eastern. All these things are Confederate, right? To 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 to, to establish the vision that it's not us. But the Bible says we're the only people that ain't, don't got no help. We're not gonna have no might. We don't got no military might. Do you see what I'm saying? 
and not just them a whole bunch more but i want to just talk about the main ones the ones that's fighting right now against each other i'm gonna read that again the tabernacles of edom the ishmaelites moabites and the haragreen haragreen haragreens right so there it is it says they are consulted together with one consent they had one mind to make us forget who we were and they did that right who the Ishmaelites and Edom. Who is fighting right now? The Ishmaelites and Edom. So why are we fighting for them? Why are we kicking against the prick? Right? So the Bible is saying, let me read it. Let me read Lamentations chapter 1, verse 4 through 11. Listen to what the scripture is saying. It says, the Lord have accomplished his fury. He have poured out his fierce anger and kindled a fire in Zion. He have devoured the foundations thereof. The kings of the earth and all the inhabitants of the world would not have believed that the adversaries and the enemies should have entered into the gates of Jerusalem. And that's what they have done right there in our land, fighting over our land. I'm going to prove that in this quasi mystical book that you said about, right, that you should be reading, right, for this is our constitution. Listen what the Bible is saying. For the sins of her prophets and the iniquities of her priests that have shed blood of the just in the midst of her. They have wandered as blind men. Wait a minute. Forgive me. I'm reading the wrong scripture. Forgive me. The Bible is saying, <laughs> forgive me, Lamentations chapter 1, verse 4. The ways of Zion do mourn because none come to the solemn feast, right? Because we have forgot our ways, right? The ways of Zion do mourn, right? Because we have forgot about it. They said in, in, in Psalms 83, hey, they are confederate to make the name of Zion be no more. The name of Israel be no more in remembrance. We don't know our feast days. Now we keep other nations' feast days. Do you see that? The ways of Zion do mourn because none come to her solemn feast. All her gates are desolate, her priests sigh, her virgins are afflicted, and she is in bitterness. Her adversaries are the chief. What the Bible says, her adversaries are the chief of the nations. Right? So we, we every time we went in captivity, that nation was ruling the earth. What nation is ruling the earth in these last days right now is America. It's not hard to believe. It's not hard to understand. Because the Bible is saying this mystical, this mystical, it, this, mystical this quasi mystical book is saying that, hey, the children of Israel went in captivity to the chief of the nations. Where the so-called black Hispanic Native American man at? They were in the hand of the, of, of, of the Edomites, right? The white nations, right? that rule the earth at this moment for sure it's coming down but that's the the reason why it's coming down because it was prophesized in that what quasi and mystical book at the end of the 400 years he'll begin to judge the earth he's judging the earth king and you've been deceived to think that it's mystical because you you they told you that jesus is white and everybody is white and the angels are white and everything else like that but I'm here to tell you that, hey, they don't fit that. We do. Listen what the Bible is saying. It says, it says, her adversaries are chief. Her enemies prosper, right? Wherever we at, right? That's how we are blessing to all these nations as well, right? Because wherever we at, they're going to prosper. Why? Because we're in their land. Listen what the scripture is saying. For the Lord have afflicted her. For the multitude of her transgression, her children are gone into captivity before the enemy. Yet all these people are an enemy. A, the Ishmaelites, the Edomites, the Moabites, the Hagarines. Yet all these people are our enemies. Thus says the Lord, right? In that mystical, that quasical mystical book, the daughters of Zion, all her beauty is departed. Her princesses are become like hearts. And find no pastor, right? So, so, so we 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 don't find that the the, the word is supposed to be eaten, eaten, right? So we in these churches we can't. There's no pastor for us to eat. 
hey, there's no way back to our father in these churches, right? So now we got to come out of these churches, right? Because they're not teaching. They never told you you're Israel. They never told you you got to keep the commandments and laws, right? They never told you that, hey, you got to believe in Jesus as the scripture has said, hey, the woolly and dark skin, right? You got to believe what the Bible says about Yahweh Shai. Listen what the Bible is saying. It says, and from the daughter of Zion, all her beauty is departed. Her princes are become as hearts and find no pasture, right? A, a, the bread that they got us eating is defiled, right? And they say we can eat pork, shrimp, and crab, right? Hey, we don't have to keep the commandments and laws of God. Hey, all you got to do is say you believe in Jesus. Hey, you're good. Hey, if you die a second, you'd live the whole wicked life. And when you die a second before you die, even though you're live, you know that you should be keeping the commandments of the law. As long as hey, I ask God for forgiveness and I should get in. No, that's a lie. Listen what the scripture is saying. And they are going with strength before their pursuer. I'm gonna read it again. It says, and from it says, and from the daughters of Zion, all her broody is departed. Her princes are become like harps and find no pasture. And they are gone without strength before the pursuer. Jerusalem remembered in the days of her affliction, in her miseries, all her pleasant things that she had in the days of old. When her people fell into the hand of the enemy and none did help her. Hey, we had no help. Hey, who came to help the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans? What nation around the earth came and said, hey, give the land back to the natives. Give California back to the Hispanics. Hey, hey. Give, take the so-called African-American men back to the land. Hey, hey, give us back Israel, all of us. Who came to help us? Hey, give us a weapon, came to split a weapon to us, right? Hey, we got you. Hey, we had no help. We have no help, but everybody want us to help them. Listen, what the scripture is saying. Jerusalem, It says, um, the adversary saw her and did mock at her Sabbaths. And how they mock at our Sabbaths? Because now they tell you that the Sabbath is is, is Sunday, right? Hey, now they, they, they switched it up and said, hey, it's, it's Sunday worship now. You don't have to keep the Sabbath no more. Hey, come and work and, and, and do all the wickedness on the Sabbath day, right? You get off Friday, right? Friday night, you, you go get your money, you get your check, and you go on and spend it. At night, hey, the Sabbath started. Right, they mocking at our Sabbaths because now we do most of wickedness come that Friday and that Saturday. Do you see that? They mock at our Sabbaths. Listen, Jerusalem have grievously sinned before she before be, therefore she is removed. All the under all that under her despise her. These other nations that honored us despise us now, and they've been despising us, right. Because they have seen the nakedness, yeah, they shied and turned backwards, right? Her filthiness is in her skirts. She remembered not her last end. Therefore, she came down wonderfully, right? How can you take the greatest people to ever walk this earth and put them in a lower state like we are now? Right? We the most talented, smart, invented most of these things around the earth. Wherever we yet that nation prospers. Hey, you wouldn't believe that the Most High had did this to us unless you had seen it, right? We at the bottom of every nation want to be. Hey, these people are crying as if we can do something. See, they know something that we don't. We the people of the book. It says, she had no comforter. Oh, Lord, behold, my affliction. For the enemy have magnified himself. And the, the Palestinian magnifies himself against us. The Edomite man magnify himself against us. The Chinese man magnify himself against us. All these nations magnify themselves against us. And the darker we are, the worse it is, right? Listen what the scripture is saying. The adversaries have spread out his hand upon all his pleasant things. Our land, Israel, right? The Most High's favorite land. They have spread their hands upon those things. They also have took took our Bible, right? They took our images of our ancestors and painted them white. 
listen again the adversaries have spread out his hand upon all her pleasant things for she have seen that the heathen entered into her sanctuary into our land right they also entered into the midst of in the midst of us in 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 and, and we have no pasture to eat on, right? They feeding us the foul bread. A, a, their religion, their Christianity. Listen, whom thou did command that they should not enter into the congregation. They shouldn't even be in the midst of us, y'all. Right? You fighting for you fighting for people. The most high said, hey, he don't want us to fight for. It, right? This is the most high's judgment. All her people shy. They seek bread, right? We seek wisdom, we seek understanding. Hey, 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 we he wants something to grab on. Hey, we just gotta take whatever leverage we got and vote whoever in. Hey, man, these people control everything. Kamala can't do nothing. Obama can't couldn't do nothing but push a homosexual agenda on us, right? And they doing the same thing. I I would like to say, hey, we we are caught into a a rock and a hard place. We broke Republican. These people hate your guts. They're racist as hell. You vote Democrat, they pushing all kind of homosexuality on us and, and killing babies. Hey, we can't vote for none of these people. That's why the Bible says you got to vote for one of your brothers. And he has to be known to keep the commandments and laws of God. And, and any of our brothers are not going to try to be trying try to run for president because he knows what's happening. They know what's happening. So, hey, we shouldn't be voting. Listen what the Bible is saying. It says all our people shy. They seek bread. They have given her pleasant thing for meat to relieve their to relieve the soul. See, O Yahweh, and consider, for I am become vile. And how we come vile with our actions, how we live, how we dress. Because the Bible says he should be governor over our whole life. The most high has a way that we should be living. Who should we should be voting for? Who should we be pulling for? What should we what we should be doing in these last days? But right, but what how we become vile? A, that quasi-mystical books. Do you see what I'm saying? See, sitting out is not an option because that does nothing to move the needle on the yoke of oppression. But it does, right? We shouldn't be voting for these people. The Bible says we're going to only in this kingdom is not our rest. We're only going to be oppressed and spoiled evermore. And if we can't help ourselves succinctly, how in the entire hell are we supposed to help anyone else? But let's not be hypocritical because some of us choose to stand in unison with you all, even knowing this history, because we realize this history is a part of the colonizers tool. Do you see that? So they ask, they're asking for our help, but you know, nine times out of ten, these are our brothers and sisters over there in in their land, in our land, and they get in their racist towards them. Do you make that make sense? Make that make that make sense. They're in our land, right? Establishing the vision. As if they are the people, and if it, if it's not them, it's the it's the Jewish man. Make that make sense, right? But we supposed to fight for them. Do y'all see that? Is uh, I got another one. Then I'm gonna finish off with some scriptures. Again, I want you guys to understand, right? He says some quasi mystical book, right? And he's. He's been like swallowed up with the flood, right? Fucking will be. You guys are fucking whack. You're insane. You're so beyond selfish. It's fucking insane. A black woman in fucking presidency is not gonna save us. I know I'm not fucking saying vote Trump in. Fucking do something. Do something. I'm so sick and tired of this. Do what can we do? We can't get ourselves out of this captivity. You guys have taken our land. We have nowhere to go. There's not a place found for us in the earth. This is what the Bible says again. 
to that to, to that guy if he ever runs across it. I ain't throwing the titty woke to that quasi and mystical book said there's no place found for us in the earth. Right? Where is our place at? I'm gonna see if I can pull that. So Daniel's chapter. Nah, that's not going to be it, though. I don't know if I can see it or not. I'll bring them again. I don't know the age of Gabbard and Mount Missouri. To the NFL level of place. So yeah, yeah, let's keep reading. Something, it's your responsibility. What more do you need to see? What more images need to come out of Sudan, Congo, fucking Palestine, any of those countries? What do you need to fucking see to fucking start acting and realizing you're the fucking problem? You're the fucking problem. No one's- These people are saying we are the, we are the problem, right? But I would say that, hey, you guys are the problem again. Right, you guys are in our land, right? You're you're taking our land, but hey, in this quasi mystical book, the Most High forewarned us about it. First, I want to um just hit you with Isaiah right quick, Isaiah forty eight, because this is all prophesied about. This is why we can trust the Bible, right? Isaiah forty eight and three. I have declared the former things from the beginning, right? And they went forth out of my mouth and I showed them and I did, I did them suddenly and they came to pass. So we understand the most high has written these things a long time ago. He did these things. All right. So now we want to go to Ezekiel. Look at the Bible saying about them people being in our land. Right. Look what the scripture is saying in this quasical mystical book way before it happened. It was prophesied, brother. You can trust the Bible. Listen, it says, because thou hast said these two nations and these two countries shall be mine and we will possess it where is the Lord was there. So the Bible says these two countries, right? America, because our brothers, the Hispanics and natives were already over here and Israel shall be mine. Even though the Lord was there, what did he mean by the Lord was there? Let me show you Joel chapter two. Verse 27, open your ears wide and hear what this says. And ye should know that I am in the midst of Israel. He's in the midst. So that's what he said. The Lord was there. And wherever we at, even in these captivities, even in the, even though we walked through the valley of the shadow of death, he was a little sanctuary for us. Do you hear what the Bible is saying? That's what the Bible is saying. And ye should know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord, your God and none else. My people shall never be ashamed. So he said, these two countries and these two nations shall be mine, even though the Lord was there. Right. So wherever we are at, he's in the midst of us. Listen, being what? Being a little sanctuary for us. Look what the Bible is saying. Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 11, verse 16. Look what the scripture is saying. Therefore. It says, therefore, say, thus says Yahweh, thy Elohim, although I cast him far off among the heathen, although he sent us into captivity among all these nations. Listen, although I have scattered them among the countries, you can find an Israelite in all these countries. Hey, this was written years before it happened in a what in this so-called quasi and mystical Bible that you talk about, brother. The transatlantic slave trade went everywhere. The sub-Saharan slave trade went everywhere. When Babylon and all these captivities, we've been scattered. Listen to what the scripture is saying. Therefore say, thus says Yahweh thy Elohim, although I have cast him far off from among the heathen, 
although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. So he's a little sanctuary for us. Hey, we're still alive, even though they try to kill us off, right? We're still here because the Most High, again, was our little sanctuary for us, right? They say, well, shoot, our ancestors fought for civil rights to get, you know, to get you guys a civil war to get, no, the Most High put a spirit on you guys to do what you did, just like he's putting a spirit on these nations right now. For what? Because it's judgment. The 400 years is up. Now he's judging the earth. Where can you find that at? In this quasi mystical book that you're talking about. Do you see that? Look what the Bible is saying. So we can see that this is the judgment for these nations. Joel chapter 3 and verse 2. Listen what the Bible is saying. It says, the Bible is saying, Joel chapter 3 verse 1. For behold, in those days and at that time when, when we just read that 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 our time is our time is up in Lamentations. Listen, for behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations. I will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. That's over there in the Middle East, you guys. And I will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel whom they have scattered among the nation and parted my land. Who's parted the land? Who, who has parted the land? The children of Edom and the, and the Ishmaelites, right? They're fighting over our land. They have parted our land. Look what the scripture is saying. Ezekiel 36 and 10. Thirty-six and, and five. The Most High is mad. He said, "Therefore, thus says Yahweh, Thy power. Surely, in the fire of my jealousy, have I spoken against the residue of the heathen, and against Idumea." Right. So he's saying these two different people, heathen and Idumea, Esau and the Ishmaelites. Listen, which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart, with the spiteful minds, and cast it out for a prey. Right. So both of these nations took our land and now they're fighting over it right but what the what we just read the most high is that he's pleading for his people yasha allah for us right so this is judgment this is judgment what's happening right now brother we can't vote it out we can't march it out why should we why would we why why would we want to the 400 years of our bondage is over and he's judging the earth. Everything is getting higher. Rent is getting higher. Food is getting higher. You go buy one meal, it's $100. Right? People are separating. People are getting angry. People are gathering with their own people, kind of, sort of. Esau don't want to be replaced. You won't replace us. Right? Hey, 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 the end is near. Listen what the scripture is saying. Second Ezra, chapter 16, verse 13. And there's no stopping. And there's no stopping. No one's policing you. No one's telling you not to fucking speak up. Speak up, but do not speak up when it comes to oppressing my people. I don't give a fuck anymore. I don't give a fuck anymore. Have you spoken up for us when you come in you get high above us that uh, that's also prophesied young man look what the scripture is saying in this quasi mystical book that was written thousands of years before it happened the most i said these people from these other nations will come in and get above the children of israel listen what the bible is saying the stranger that within thee shall get above thee very high and thou shalt become very low. He should lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He should be the head, right? He should own the stores, and he should be the tail, and we could be the consumers, right? Hey, in this quasi-mystical book called the Bible, these things 
have came true because it came out the mouth of the most high God way before it happened, King. Right? So you want to undye your beard, take out the dangling earrings, right? Girt yourself up like a man and start keeping these laws and commandments of God. Stop the voting. Hey, let's vote for Christ, right? The black Messiah. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, 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 the that religion, Christianity, is probably quasi and mystical because it's a bunch of make believe in Christianity, not the Bible itself, but in Christianity itself, right? Because Jesus is, 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 is not white, right? The Israelites are not white. The angels on the right side of God is not white, right? David is not white. Do you see what I mean? And he ain't came for everybody at this moment. Right now he's coming for the children of Israel. It's fucking also white people. It's all of you. It's fucking all of you. Every fucking race in fucking America has oppressed us. Black people. But you're in our land. We, the, the, the dude that showed that you treat the black people that that land probably belong to that's probably from us you treat them poorly so wear a uniform and get on a plane and come to our countries and kill us you vote the same fucking melanated fucking people and you come on a plane your people come over plane move in our neighborhoods and take our money right and feed us all kind of garbage Right. And also you were confederate to making us forget who we were, according to the Bible. Do you see that? Isn't that the pot calling the kettle black? To government that signed papers to kill us. I don't want to hear it anymore. I don't want to hear it. You are our colonizers. I do not want to fucking hear it. I don't want to hear it. And you see what the Bible is saying? Look what the Bible is saying. I wanted to, um, you know, they want us to come against, you know, come against the most high God. But the Bible says in Acts chapter nine and verse in verse five, it says, and he said, who art thou, O Lord? So this is when um, Paul was walking on Damascus, right? And he was coming against, he was coming against the, you know, the, the people that believed in Christ, right? The followers of Christ. And they also kept the commandments. Right. So he is prosecuting the, the church, which are the children of Israel. Right. It says, and he said, who art thou, O Yah Lord, our Adawan? And our Adawan said, I am Yahweh, whom thou prosecutest. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. Right. So he, he's going against the grain. Right. Ain't nothing you can do. Right. Hey, this this, this word, the most high already had, had, had said what's going to happen. So so what they want us to do is kick against the pricks. Go against what the Most High said was going to happen. Look what the scripture is saying. 16, what time we are living in. Look at the time that we are living in. The Bible says, for strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that shooteth the sh the shooters are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the earth and the ends of the world. Right now we are at the end of the world. Was the indication that 400 year prophecy that was talked to, talked about way in Abraham, right? Our end is near, right? This is the end. These arrows are shot out. Listen what the Bible is saying. This mystical, this mystical, you know, this, 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 this quasi mystical book is saying, it says, behold, the plagues are sent and who shall return them? Turn who, listen what the Bible is saying. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth so the bible said these plagues are sent right so this is how we could be kicking kicking against the pricks trying to stop what's going on over there in in the middle east hey this is the most high clearing that land for who is people this is what the bible is saying the fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backwards, even so these plagues that are that shall be sent upon the earth should not return again. A, hey, there is no stopping the earth being pregnant, right? And it's finna hatch it, 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 and Christ is coming, 
we're at the end of this. There's nothing we can do. There's no need to kick against the prick. There's no need to march against any of these things. The things that you must do is start to keep these laws and commandments of God and get the kingdom. Listen to what the Bible is saying. Woe is me. Woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows. I'm done. Young lady, it's the beginning of sorrows. Listen to what the Bible is saying. Great mourning. She is greatly mourning. Right. And it's a sad thing. Right. When her people like like it was sad for us when our people been killed and been dying and dying and and, and, and you know, what I'm saying, but hey, what do we do? And we just take a look at it, keep on ticking, though. Why? Because the most high was a little sanctuary for us in these captivities. Listen to what the Bible saying. the beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death. Right. It's a lot of people dying over there. Right. But they had did a they they killed a lot of us during the sub-Saharan slave trade. You guys look it up, right? The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. Look at the Bible. So these great nations are going to stand in fear because of the things that's coming on. So America is trying their best not to not 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 to let it get to cracking. Right? Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. No. Right, but there's kind of nothing they can do because soon as Israel get involved, so soon, soon as soon as soon as Israel get involved in Iran, act like they want to do something. What happened? America rush over there. They sprint over there. Right, Israel's a small nation over there, so they America has to go. Hey, do you know in this quasi mystical book, a hey, is written that the least among the flock is going to pull them out. The least among the Edomites, right? Is gonna pull America out, right? So I got a, I got a good, you know, a, 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 a good prize for y'all at the end. Cause hey, sooner you guys, you guys, the Bible says you guys are gonna have the upper hand in a minute. Hey, so you you can just take joy in that, cause the Bible says he has set the end from the beginning, and suddenly it happened. So this is gonna happen too. So a uh, be a good cheer for a little bit, right? Just for a little bit. The Bible saying the beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Hey, what the Israelites should be doing, we should be keeping the laws and commandments of God, the faith in, in the Messiah, gathering together, loving each other. Stopping the sin, stop the pork, stop the shrimp, stop the crab. We're running out of time. Listen, behold, famine and plagues, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges of andament, right? But for all these things, right? And this is the dude that just, he can see all these things come upon the earth. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges, right? So he, even though, these things are coming. The dude that said the Bible is quasi-mystical, he, he still don't want to turn his heart, right? Because he thinks the Bible is fake. He thinks it's a bunch of make-believe. But, hey, the way we did, the way we know it's not because of these prophecies that's popping off right now. It's great sorrow, great death, only more to come. In Ukraine, Russia, right now, right now Israel and Palestine, it's even more. Is coming. He said he's going to plead for his people, Israel, in those lands. Listen. I'm fucking done. We've watched our people die for fucking years. We're not the people that oppressed you. Instead of taking a second. Wait a minute. We just read in Psalms 83 that y'all all was confederate. But look what the Bible says in 1 Maccabees. <laughs> You're lying. Second of all, you're in our land. How are you not oppressing us? Thirdly, is people, some of our people are still in the land and you treat them, you're racist to them. And they claim your religion. Listen what the scripture is saying. The Bible is saying her glorious vessels are carried away into captivity. Her infants are slain in the streets, right? So her birth... Look at the Bible. Her glorious vessels are carried away into captivity. So who is the her in that? Right. It could be talking about the land. Right. Because we are those who's going in captivity. Right. Boom. 
right? It could be talking about Zion itself, but it's it's talking about the land in this in this day. Her glorious vessels are carried away in captivity. Her infants are slain in the streets. Her young men with the sword of the enemy. And we've been getting killed by all of you guys, you so-called Arabs, you so-called Edomites, right? You Africans, right? We're still we still got people in Africa. Don't get it wrong. Young lady Naya Sim, she seemed like she's waking up to the truth, right? But we gotta we gotta separate ourselves a little bit from from some of the, the these homosexuals because you 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 do a lot of their content. You hear me, young lady? But hey, you are an Israelite yourself. We gotta repent. It seems like you're waking up all praises to the most high God, but we gotta come all the way in because he's not won't you don't wanna have an offering like Cain off the ground. You wanna give him your best, right? Look what the Bible saying. Her glorious vessels are carried away into captivity. Her infants are slain in the streets. Her young men with swords of the enemy. What nation have not had a part in her kingdom and gotten her spoil? What did she say? The Bible is saying something different. Papers to kill us. I don't want to hear it anymore. I don't want to hear it. You are our colonizers. I do not want to fucking hear it. I don't want to hear it. I'm done. I'm fucking done. We've watched our people die for fucking years. We're not the people that oppressed you. And that would be a lie, right? We just read it. Look what the Bible is saying. Jeremiah chapter 25 and 14. And it read, For many nations and great kings shall serve themselves of them also. And I will recompense them according to their deeds and according to their works of their own hand. The Bible is saying, so what's happening right now? He's recompensing you right now for what you guys had to do, especially in our land. You parted our land, took our land, and you had part of the, 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 the Ishmaelites had part in, in the sub-Saharan slave trade. Matter of fact, that was all you guys. <laughs> you see? Then you come in our neighborhoods over there, get above us, push us down, right? Some of you cool, but a lot of you not. Listen what the scripture is saying. For thus says Yahweh, thy Elohim of Yasha Allah unto me, take the wine cup of this fury of my hand and cause all the nations. See, you're crying now. Why? Because our end is near. Now he's pleading for his people. And these things are happening upon the earth. Listen what the Bible is saying. I'm going to read it again. But thus says Yahweh, thy Elohim of Yasha Allah unto me, take the wine of the cup of this fury of my hand and cause all the nations to whom I send thee to drink it. Wait a minute. So all the nations that had us in captivity shall drink it. So not just you guys, right? So don't, don't be sad, right? Cause we was captive to, 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 to the Egyptians as well, right? We was a captive to the Syrians as well. We was captives to, to the Babylonians as well, the original Babylonians. Now we in mystery Babylon, the Persians to the Greeks, to the Romans, which are Edomites, right? And, and, and we're captive now, right? Chinese had us too, right? We, uh, everybody had their hand and it's just not you guys. Everybody's finna get it. This is what this war, war, this last war before Christ come back is about. It's for the pleading of his people. Listen, and they shall drink and be moved and be mad because of the sword that I will send among them. And they're mad at us. Look how mad they are. I'm done. What's this? It, wait, wait a minute. We ain't had nothing to do with that. Well, look how he acted. Hey, this Bible, this mystical, this quasi-mystical book is real. And his word is not coming back void. Instead of taking a second, a second to think how fucking identity politics is so fucking toxic and is killing people, you're playing into the entire fucking agenda. Step by step, you're... The, 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 the Bible said you did that as well, right? They were confederate. Edom, who was second, the Ishmaelites. Hey, you guys are the biggest corporates in this. All fucking brainwashed. You're all fucking ridiculous and fucking pathetic. I'm so fucking done. 
done. Wow. She said we're brainwashed. But who helped us with the brainwashing? Who who helped us be brainwashed? Hey, by moving into our towns. Hey, 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 Ishmael, hey, go take over Egypt right there. Hey, you you're helping with the with 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 the with the blurriness of the whole thing, right? You're helping with the smoke of the whole thing. For we can't see clearly. Who you guys were brainwashed, right? You have something to do with it, according to the Bible. You see that? Isn't that the pot calling the kettle black? Isn't she a hypocrite right now? And look how they think that we can do something in, in our state. We're, we're, the, we're at the lowest of society. We're at the bottom. See, these people know something that some of you Jakes don't know. Some of you E's don't know. It's something about us. That you want to holler and scream at us like we can get something done. That's crazy. So fucking done. You're all the fuck. The Bible is saying Baruch chapter 4, verse 31. And again, the Bible said all these nations who hasn't had the name in this world. Like I said, look up the sub-Saharan slave trade. The purge of Medes, right? They had something to do with, with some of that. Right, the Babylonians. Look what the Bible said. Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoiced at thy fall. When they were doing this, they rejoiced. Listen, miserable are the cities which thy children serve. Miserable is she that received thy sons. Right? That's a just like we got punished for some of us for, for, for some of us going off. Hey, you guys getting punished for what y'all had did to the sub-Saharan slave trade and that captivity, the Edomite slave trade, and all these other nations finna get it. Why? Not because I say it, because it comes from a so-called quasi-mystical book. Hey, these prophecies are real, and they're going to come forth because the Most High done said it. And this is miserable time. This is the time of sorrow. It's only going to get worse from here, the earth is pregnant, like the Bible said was going to happen. At the end of the 400 years, he's going to begin to judge the earth. He's judging the earth. A hey, repent. Keep the laws and commandments of God and the faith in the Messiah. I'm going to read that again. The Bible is saying miserable. Fucking same. All of you. Every single one of you. Every single fucking American is complicit. And I'm done. You're all fucking complicit. Miserable. Are they that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall? Miserable are the cities which the children serve. Miserable is she that received thy sons. Oh, yeah. He's pleading. You're all complicit. So I understand that you're in a lot. So, you know, basically at the end, I want you. But what I want to do is give you a what they call a a, a, a little hope. Right. I want to give you a little hope because look what the Bible is saying. A little hope. I'm going to give you a little hope because listen, right, because Israel is like one of the smallest nations. I told you guys I'll get back to it. Look what the scripture is saying. Jeremiah chapter 20, no, 49, verse 20. Therefore, hear the counsel of Yahweh. So this is the counsel. The Bible is the counsel of the Most High God. It's not a mystical uh, a quasi mystical hey this is god's word it is written in stone right it's not coming back void so we got to stop with that with what what with that flood that you're in for, for you to believe that right it's crazy because i'm showing you right the things that you was pointing out the 400 years and no one's helping us i'm showing you hey the bible said there wasn't gonna be no one to help us right and the things that's happening right now in the land that you're so-called fighting for and acting like you're doing something good is punishment. You don't know the judgment of God, and that's the problem. Let me see if I, let me say, look what the Bible is saying. Therefore, hear the counsel of Yahweh that he have taken against Edom, against the European, the white man, and his purposes that he have purposed against the inhabitants of Timan, right? Surely. The least of the flock shall draw them out. The least of the flock is Israel. They're the smallest nation among the Edomite nations. Do y'all see that? Listen, surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. 
Right. So every time Israel do something, right, the, the assassination of these of, of Iranian people and Hamas and Iranian get ready to get involved, what happens? America is quick to run. They, 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 they send in ships, send in warships over there. Man, do you see this? In that mystical, in that quasi-mystical book, these things written way back then is happening right now. Every time Iran get ready, oh, sh here come America, shooting. You know what I'm saying? Boats and, 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 and all that ready to help fight, being pulled into something that they really don't want, right? They don't want no war, right? This is what the scripture is saying. And now this is the, this is the lifeline I'm, I'm giving you for a second. A hey, be of good cheer for a second for you, right? Because it's, it's, it's not going to be that long lasting for you. Hey, but the Bible says you're going to get the upper hand. Look what the Bible is saying. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 28. Behold, a horrible vision and the appearance thereof from the east where the nations and the dragons of Arabia. Hey, look at that. I'm giving you a lifeline. Look, let me, let me revive back. I'm giving you a lifeline. Look, matter of fact, let's fast forward it to another one. Cause she, she, she's talking here too, right? Black American military that served in Afghanistan, in Aret, in, in, in wherever. I've met them in Egypt because y'all occupy Egypt. And it's not fucking cute and it's not fucking sexy. Nationalism is one of the stupidest things in the world to me. See, this is part of that vision. Like they are, they are, they, they were the Egyptians, right? They, even though we're not Egyptians, believe that Egyptians had us in captivity, but they were the Egyptians too. Like anybody with darker skin, they try to say we have, they we have never did anything, right? But the Most High God has dark skin, right? His son has dark skin. His people have skin with melanin in it, right? So, so if 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 the, the original Egyptians were that color, then Moses was that, then Jesus is that. So now that's why they say, hey, Jesus wasn't white, but he ain't black either. He's Middle Eastern, A, hey, to establish the vision, right? Another part of that, uh, uh, that brainwashing that the young lady was talking about. Listen, but like I said, I was going to throw you a lifeline with this. The Bible was saying, behold, a horrible vision and the appearance thereof from the east where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots and the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon the earth that all they which hear them shall fear and tremble. Also the Carmanians, the, I the Iranians, listen, Iran, listen what the scripture is saying, raging and wrath shall go forth as a wild boar of the wood and with great power shall they come and join battle with them. And shall waste a portion of the land of Assyrians, right? So, the, when the Northern Kingdom went in captivity, Assyrians took took control of northern northern Israel. So that's what he's talking about. So it's talking about northern, you know, talking about Israel, right? And then shall the dragons have the upper hand? A hey, be of good cheer. God's word that is not coming back void says you're gonna guys gonna have the upper hand. We just read. In Jeremiah that hey the least among gonna pull them out and they're gonna be destroyed so this is what the Bible is saying so hey you can't find it in your Quran I understand that but you definitely can find it in the Bible prophecy listen what the Bible is saying and then shall the dragons have the upper hand remembering their nature and if they shall and if they shall turn it says and if they shall turn themselves conspiring together in great power to prosecute them then these shall be troubled bled and keep silence through their power and shall flee so this is what the scripture is saying so america is probably going to try to flee but the bible is saying you guys are going to get the upper hand on on the ish people right soon you guys gonna have the upper hand but then you're not going to get to rule nothing because a hey, it's punishment for you guys according to the bible right so and then on top of that the number of melanated folk that were used in the united nation to do the and that's it i hope you understand it so hope to do you know understand that the bible is not a quasi mystical book 
Hey, it's the book of our ancestors. It's the history book. It's a prophecy book. And it's the word of God. And the word of God is written in stone. Hey, it's going to happen. Like it, love it, believe it or not. With that, I want to say, Shalom.